this is something that uh, belonged to my family. Uh, it's been handed down from generation to generation because nobody wanted it. <laughs> you see, I get <laughs> Okay, I know, I know. So, 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 it, it's a, it's a selection of items, but they have a very uh, strong, I'll say, well, an influence over people. So, none of you have ever seen any of these before. So, I'm going to now share them with you. This is what we're going to start with. This is my grandfather, George Schaefer. He is the one who started me on magic many years ago. He is the one who was a gambler. He was a card man for whatever reason. He was a sleight of hand artist. He got me started. This is another member of the family. Very interesting lady. I'm not going to tell you anything about her. Halbrum. Don't want to spoil the magic. Mrs. Halbrum. Okay. Part of the family kind of branched off and got into some pretty dark things. We don't like to talk about them very much in our family. But these two were, uh, especially, this is um, John Halbrum. Okay. He was later. She was first. Uh, he was he was her son. And uh, all of these all of these people were involved in magic in one way or the other, either trick magic or occult magic. Uh, interesting family background that I've been able to find out about. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here for right now. This is, in this plastic tube is a sigil. This is also a sigil right here. Sigil is a way of protection uh, that you, you keep and you put on things because so, you don't want you don't want anything bad to happen. It's actually a bloody thumbprint. I don't know whose, but this is how I received it, so we can only surmise that it was somebody was pretty serious about whatever's in this probably box. Probably could find out. It's probably the DNA still out. Yes, that's <laughs> true. That's true. I'm not sure I want to find out. All right. So in this tube is an object that belonged to one of these three people. Okay. This object has a really powerful influence on people. I don't know why, but it can influence your thinking. It's already starting to influence the thinking in this room, okay? So I, I can feel that. Can you feel it? Mm -hmm. A little bit? <laughs> oh, yeah. So here's the idea. I don't know. I'm going to ask you to help me with this. Is that okay? Sure. Would you mind trading places with uh, this gentleman here? <laughs> so have you ever used a pendulum before? I have. You have? Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> so a pendulum has been used for centuries to make decisions and for what's called divining, okay? Uh, the classic example is you wave it over a woman's pregnant belly and you can tell whether it's a boy or a girl, right? Did you, is that what you use it for? You know, it was when I was in high school yeah. and my friend was really into the Ouija board and yeah, all that. There you go. He yeah. laughs, he knows my friend, yeah. she's still the same. Yeah. But it was way back then. Okay, so see we play with this stuff and we treat it as play and that's what the spirits want. They want us to think of it as a game, because yeah. yes, because it's playful. It's not. It's that you're open a portal in your imagination. So everything magic does, whether it's magic tricks or magic occult, is play. It's to open up your imagination. Okay, whether it's real or not, that's a whole other show. So the idea with the pendulum is, if the pendulum, for most people, if it moves side to side or back and forth in straight lines, that is a yes answer, okay? If it is a no answer, it's either going to go yes or no, it will go in a circle. So really all you have to do is remember the letter O from no. So, you think that will work for you? Because some, oh, sure. pe some people are the opposite. Some people, <laughs> it, it doesn't move at all. Sometimes it will go the opposite. But we're gets, I'm going to go with what I've suggested, which is straight lines are yes, circle is no, okay? So, I'm going to set these out in front of you, and we're going to see if the object that's inside of here can, if you believe in what's called uh, psychometry, psychometry is the idea that an object can be imbued with history, 
uh, if it's been around, if it's been handled by somebody, say one of these three people, that it'll have this aura around it. You may not see it, but it will speak to you. And this uses what is called idiomotor responses, which are tiny muscular contractions that we're, we can't even be in control of. That's because you don't have to be in control of one of these people will be in control of it. Mm. They will actually reach from beyond the grave to make sure that you choose the right person. Okay. Uh-huh. So what you're going to do is you're going to re- are you right or left-handed? Right. Okay. So you're going to rest your right elbow on the table, and I'm going to give you this. You hold it about this far off the surface of the table, like this, right? And then you're just going to go over these photographs. Take your time. There is no pressure. We are not in a hurry to get home, are we? <laughs> I hear a door creaking open. It's very strange. Yes. So, so, for example, if this was a yes, it would be like this. If it was a no, it would be like this. So I'm going to let you start. You can start wherever you want. Okay. And. But do I have to have a question? No, there's no question. All you're going to no do question. is. Well, okay, let's give it a question. Let's say, I want you to say, Pendulum, is this the right person? Is John Halbram the right person? Go ahead. The right person for what? That's where the object belongs. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Is this the right person? Is this the right person? Is this the right person? Very faint straight lines, you think? No, it's going in a circle now. I don't see it moving. Yeah, it's very (laughs) subtle. I I did it in very broad strokes to begin with. It looks like a circle to me. Yeah, it looks like a circle. Yeah, more pronounced now. Yeah, it looks like it looks like a, a circle. Okay, so that is a no. We will put it aside over here. Okay. So you weren't you weren't that convinced? <laughs> it's all right. If you're no, not, you're, okay. the, you're the one. You're, the you're spirits the working you're, through. You're, oh no, 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 no! I am only the facilitator of this. Oh, experience. I think you just fired okay. me at one time. No, no. Okay, look. Yeah. Let's 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 take your time. No. You said it was a circle. I no, I don't. Not. I don't want to make any suggestions. But it looked like it to me. Yeah, it's, here. It's, yeah, it's, sure. You try. Leave that and we'll try another one. Come back to it. Yeah, you, you could come back, back to it. Come back to it. Okay, because it doesn't look like it's moving. Okay. So oh, it's let's, moving let's, definitely. Let's, let's yeah, try moving. another one and see what happens. See if it's side to side or around and around. Oh wow! Look at that circle. Or is it? No, no that's, that's side, 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 side to side. It's definitely a side to side. Okay, so we got two yeses so far. I thought that the first one was a no. Yeah, you first did? one's a no. Okay, well, this is a yes. This is a no, and yeah. this is a yes. Right. So, mm-hmm. well, now it's a circle. Oh, it's very confused. See, here it is. Relax your arm for a minute. Okay. You're new at this, okay? <laughs> this is, you're, not, you're not a professional, okay? So the main way to make this work is just let go. Don't try. You're trying to. Maybe it's the pressure of the group. Is right. That's it. It's, Don't. It's the group. Because right. the spirits are going to take care of everything. So don't okay, even worry about it. Just, hit, just take go. Care of everything. Go okay. with whatever feels right. There you go. See? You just. But yeah, stop. My first. total lack of belief doesn't no, interfere. No, it doesn't matter. They, they believe in you, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> what if the spirits want to mess you up? They don't. They don't. My friends. They're my family, my ex family members. <laughs> Former family members. Yeah, they're, they're still with you, Mark. What do you think? I, it's only moving when I move my hand. Well, yeah. Huh? <laughs> they're not, <laughs> not going to move it for you, they have to work through your arm. Okay. You see. So yeah, it's you're you're the human component. <laughs> Maybe she needs to let a little more chain out. Yeah, that's true. Let's try that. Okay, here. Yeah. A little bit. A lot. That's why you gotta but rest. Still have to rest your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, okay. you don't you don't want it to have any tension in your arm. Here, I'm gonna stop it. Okay. Could take hours, you know. Yeah. Okay. I swear. 
try this one. Okay. Here, let's move these over a little bit. I can swing it for you. No, no, no you no, don't, no, don't, no. don't. 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 No. Don't. No. Don't try to second guess. Yes. The spirits work for yeah, you. They, they will work okay. for you. It just takes time. That's all. Let your day off. Yes maybe or no. they're off. They have Ask it. They have Is some this the right picture? Oh, yeah. She's not asking okay. the question. Is this the right picture? Does this belong to you? It's like straight lines. There it goes. It's almost like it doesn't feel like a magnet, does it, or anything like that? No. Some no. people not think it has anything to do with anything as crass as a magnet, magnet. hidden in something. That's a that. magnet under the table. But it looks like that's the yes. You ask me. Okay. Right? Both side by side. Yeah, okay. So let's just go back to this one more time and see okay. if it says no. We're, we're almost almost done here. Ask it this time. Okay. Ask her this time. Does this belong to you? More of a circle and straight line, wouldn't you say? Or am I? It looked like a circle to me. I think it does. From this angle, it kind of does. Okay, I'll go with whatever okay, you guys say. Okay, here we say. go. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, so we're going to put these aside. We do not need them anymore. Okay. Okay. Now the fun part. You can let go. I'm going to open this up. Dump that out. And here's the little coupling. It's a little tiny coupling. See? It's a picture on it. Okay? And now if you would read what this message says that was inside there the whole time. This cup like used in the test belonged to George Schaefer, Schaefer. my grandfather. It's a photo of his, oh, on it is a photo of his sister, Olga. There you go. Oh, so, wow. There you go. There it is. There it is. Okay, dun, dun, dun. this looks a lot like him. <laughs> 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 